is my first day of physical therapy. I have been going to the chiropractor like twice a week for the past few weeks and I'm not really feeling like I'm making much progress. I'm actually feeling like my back has been popping out of place and my hips been moving out of place more often. on in my life um, this past few weeks it's like January 26th I think it was it was on a Wednesday morning sit sit I was getting ready for work and I was picking up I went I bent down to pick up a piece of laundry and I had this shooting pain through my lower back and um, I collapsed and could not move um, I don't know what happened, <clears throat> but my back started to spasm. Um, my back completely went out and I could not move at all. I was stuck. I think I ran 70 miles that week. That was the second week I'd ran 70 miles. And <clears throat> I was feeling sore and my back was feeling kind of sore, but nothing to where I thought I had to be concerned. So I didn't really think much of it. I made sure I stretched and did that stuff, but Obviously, something more was going on, and um, when I went bent down to pick up the laundry, it was enough to make my back go out. Seriously, it was the worst pain of, I have ever felt in my life. Like, I've had two kids, and I would have 10 kids <laughs> over that pain. Never felt back spasms before, and seriously, never want to experience that again. I had like I would try to move and my back would just like it's like a contraction but in your back my your back like locks up and it is so painful so I got into my chiropractor that day and he wasn't even able to do anything for me because I was in such pain that he told me to go to the doctor and get pain meds and muscle relaxers before he could work on me at all so I had to couldn't get into my doctor until the, the next Two days later, <laughs> finally got some pain meds and some muscle relaxers, and those seemed to help me sleep and rest a little bit. Um, so I went back to the chiropractor. He was able to do a couple more adjustments, not not a whole lot, um, but I was making a little progress, I guess. So um, continue to go to the chiropractor, you know, once a week. Um, and things got a little better, but my back was still spasming and I still had very little mobility. <clears throat> so fast forward to um, this last week. Um, my back is doing better, but I'm still um, in pain. Um, and it's it now moved to... Um, not just my lower back, but my right hip. Um, so it's my right hip and it kind of goes into my lower back a little bit. And so um, I started to notice when I walked and when I even stood, and my right hip is significantly um, higher. And I could tell when I walk that I'm leaning to one side. I've been feeling like since going to the chiropractor, I feel like things have kind of gotten a little worse as far as my alignment and as far as how I'm feeling. So I decided upon myself to seek out a physical therapist um, just to kind of get another second opinion therapist today um, for the first time and absolutely loved it. I was there for two hours and he worked with me doing multiple stretches and exercises. He said my right hip, um, this hip, is definitely um, raised up and out of place. Um, and I'm out of alignment this way. So my, kind of my whole right side of my back is kind of lifted. Um, the interesting thing about this is my chiropractor a while ago said that my right leg was shorter than my left leg 
and gave me a lift to put in my shoes to raise up my right side. What's interesting about this is when I went to the physical therapist and him saying that my right side is, is off and too high. Um, and I told him I've been wearing a lift in my shoe. And he's like, why? Um, and the chiropractor took x-rays, you know, back like months ago and said that my hips were out of alignment and that I needed to raise this side up. So he gave me a lift. Well, it turns out that my right leg may not be the issue. Your hips can go out of alignment for multiple reasons, not just because your leg is shorter or whatever. So the, the physical therapist thinks my hips may have gotten out of alignment just from running, uh, just for a different reason. And putting the lift in my shoe may not have been the best move. Um, it may have kind of, I guess, overcorrected the situation and caused my hip to move more than it should have. I kind of feel a little lost because, you know, one person says one thing, the other person says another thing, and I feel like I'm understanding what the physical therapist is saying, and um, it makes more sense to me. So, basically what I need to do is get my hip, my right hip is raised too much. I need to get that back to where it should be. Um, and then I need to strengthen my muscles. Um, there's a reason why my hips are going out of alignment. Um, so the physical therapist says that my muscles may not be firing the right way or when they should be, um, causing me to compensate in other areas, causing kind of everything to get off we're gonna work on getting things in alignment and also strengthening, strengthening the muscles around my hips, my back, my core um, to power my movement. It's going to be a long process. Um, I'm gonna be going back to him at least weekly. The chiropractor told me that I wasn't a good candidate for running, especially long distance running, and pretty much said that I can't do it. I'm stubborn and I said, you know, that's not an option. <laughs> but the physical therapist said that there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to run with, um, with hard work and the right amount, the right kind of therapy and treatment and um, exercises for my body, um, why I can't build up to being able to run long distance as long as I am listening to my body, taking care of it the way I should be, um, and maybe having to do extra stretches and some different kind of exercises that maybe other people have to do because of my situation. Running may not be out of the picture for me. It will be several months before I am able to run again. Um, I, def I will be doing walking, I will be doing swimming, I will be doing core work, um, a lot of other healthy things, but running will have to be put on the back burner until I get my body to its optimal spot. I had two races in March. I had a 50K and a trail marathon in March, and then I had was supposed to run my 50 miles uh, first week of April. So what this means is all those races will not be happening for me. It's a journey to 50 miles. 50 miles is my ultimate goal right now. Um, it's really my dream right now. What happened with my back and my hip is just a roadblock, a little setback into this journey to running 50 miles. I still believe I will run 50 miles. It may not be this year, maybe it won't be next year, but it will happen. Going through these ups and downs and roadblocks makes the finish line so much more rewarding and makes, you know, makes the journey interesting, really. So, I came so close to being ready for my first, my next ultra. I was running over 70 miles a week. I was feeling so strong. And then one little thing happens and you're out. And so, you know, it's just part of life and I'm going to take it as an opportunity to grow and learn. And we will continue to push and 
work towards that 50 miles and hopefully one day 100 miles. For those of you who have um, encountered setbacks and injuries like this, um, I hope that you continue to push towards your goals and work towards your goals and not give up. If you want something, go after it. Do what you gotta do to get there because there's nothing like going through life wishing you would have done that one thing or regretting you didn't push harder and work through the pain and work through the trials. I'll stop rambling. That is kind of uh, <laughs> what's been going on this last few weeks. I hope you guys will continue to follow me on this journey to 50 miles on my journey of life and I hope that it brings inspiration, I hope that it brings motivation, I hope that it shows others that bad things can happen and it's okay and we're stronger than that. <laughs> you're not alone in your pain, you're not alone in your trials, there's so many people else that are out there that are going through the same things as you are and struggling just like you are and just know that if I can do it, you can do it, we can do it, you know, we us runners, we gotta stick together. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will be keeping you guys updated with future videos and I hope you will join me and follow me on this journey and I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!